Okay, so this is my screencast for Homework 5. Um, so all the configuration is inside one file called playbook.yaml and the same directory also has a, a PEM file um, that's supposed to be used for provisioning EC2 instances on AWS. Okay, so over here is my EC2 console. Right here, you can see that there is only one instance that is running. So what I'm going to do is, what the playbook is going to do is spin up a new EC2 instance, um, install all the requisite packages, node, npm, git, forever, and then finally launch or start the app using forever in the newly provisioned EC2 instance. So I'm going to run the playbook like this. So first up it's going to provision the EC2 instance on AWS. Okay, so the instance has been provisioned and the newly created instance is dynamically added to an inventory, an Ansible inventory, so that I don't have to copy the IP address onto an actual inventory file and then run another playbook. And so right now it's waiting for SSH to come up so that it can SSH into the newly created instance. So if I switch to this tab, do a refresh, I should be able to see the newly created instance. Um, there it is, that's the newly created instance being initialized. So right now, let's open up the mission, yes. So now it's gonna to try to install all the node packages now. So right now it's trying to download the Node.js setup. Alright, the download is done. Now it's going to try to install Node.js. Okay, that's done as well. Now it's trying to install the npm package forever. Okay, now git is being installed. All right, the repo is being cloned. And all that needed, the requisite npm packages are being installed. Okay, right now, it's trying to get the app up and running using forever. It's making sure all the Packages bash, OpenSSL, OpenSSH client, and OpenSSH server are running the latest versions, deleting the TIM file, and yes, done so. If I were to switch here, copy the IP address, paste it in the browser, oops, copy the IP address from here, paste it in the browser. And so 8000 is the port number that I've specified for running the app, right over here. So I'm going to be using port number 8000 and alright, so the app is running on the newly provisioned EC2 instance. So now I'm going to try to log into the EC2 instance manually. And right here, you should be able to see the repo that was downloaded, and there it is. So, Node.js, 
that is installed. Alright. So so that's it. So I've uh, done three parts, the setup, the task and the provisioning also. Alright, so I'm gonna stop the